Yeah! What's up, everybody? I am 22 Tiger Dude, and I am here to review Rock Up Pages! Starling Julian Hot, Diego Born in Top, Paul Giamatti, Russell Brand, Alec Baldwin, Brian Cranston, Captain Santa Jones, Mary J. Bilch, and Tom Cruise! Yeah! It's a story about this small town girl and this boy who moved into Los Angeles to live their dreams of being in the rock stars, in the industry, in the music industry. I won't sing in this review. I've been looking forward to this movie since the summertime. Uh, I want, well, it came out in the summer, but I never got to catch in theaters in the summer. I got to see Rock of Ages from Netflix. And I just really like this movie. It's from the director of A Walk to Remember and Hairspray, plus more things. And this 80s musical, uh, it just shows a definition of why I love 80s music so much. So far, everyone did great here. Julian Hoff, who was incredibly, incredibly hot and sexy and cute. She did a fantastic job in this movie. She sang well. She acted well. And as I said, she was very sexy. And then Diego Bonetta, I think that's the guy's name. He acted, uh, he was the guy that had a crush on Julian Hoff and started to fall in love with her. And he did good here. Plus, we also have Russell Brand and Alec Baldwin, and they did well here. Brian Cranston, who was like in every movie in 2012, he acted his part as a mayor here. And Tom Cruise, you can't forget about Tom Cruise, man. Tom Cruise was the bomb in this movie. He was the shit. That's all I'm going to say. He was the shit. I couldn't believe how awesome Tom Cruise is. He is an excellent actor. But as a rock and roll star in the movie, of course, he did Fantastic! Rock and roll! Yeah. And then Paul Giamatti, he was good. Catherine Zeta-Jones, she was good. Mary J. Belch. I could mention everyone here, but just everyone that was in this movie was good here. And T.J. Miller was actually in one scene in this movie, and he was actually funny in that scene. The movie was funny. It was very obnoxious in that 80s way. And there were a few scenes in the movie where I felt like, okay, that's a little too obnoxious, or that's really unnecessary. So, that's really my only flaw with the movie. But, this movie is just well-structured in terms of how to have fun. Because whoever wrote the story for this movie obviously wanted 80s rock uh, fans like us to have fun with this movie. And I'm a huge 80s rock fan. I love listening to ACDC, Guns N' Roses, Journey, Bon Jovi, all those people. They were just so great rock and roll bands. And I just really enjoyed the living hell out of Rock of Ages. It was funny. It was rocking. It showed you a definition and how to really have a lot of fun in a movie. I really can't believe I missed this movie in theaters. I wish I got to see it because I had such a fun time watching this movie. I felt like I was actually in the movie watching it like it was some kind of concert because that's actually how I viewed Rock of Ages as some kind of concert. It was really a lot of fun. Definitely, if you're one of those people that are into musicals, like if you're a musical person like me because I love the musical genre, then I think you'll enjoy uh, Rock of Ages. If you're not much of a musicals movie person, but you like 80s rock, then I think you can enjoy Rock of Ages. Well, then again, if you could take the obnoxious behavior that was in this movie, then yeah. It depends on what your point of view for the movies are. I'm just going to say this. Uh, very good acting. Very good songs. 80s rock songs that was put into this movie. I can't believe how much fun Rock of Ages has really shown me. It was actually a little better than I expected, and that's a good thing. So that's why... I give this a rockin' three and a half out of four stars! Rock and roll! Subscribe to my channel. Comment below and give me your opinion of the film. Like and share this video. 
I hope you enjoyed this, and don't forget that I will always have...